Well, 13 people were arrested overnight for refusing to leave Niagara Square. They were part of an effort that's been calling for police reform and had been occupying the square for nearly two weeks. Our Jeff Preval heard from Buffalo Police today on why the department felt the demonstrators had to be removed. Well, BPD says that it was just time for the demonstrators to go after police say they received numerous complaints from people in the community of the demonstrators creating unsanitary conditions and threatening others. Now, here is video of police surrounding demonstrators and putting some under arrest. Nearly two weeks ago, a group called Black Love Resists in the Rust began occupying the square, calling for the release of Diana Davis, who was in court today. She's accused of running over a trooper and injuring two other officers at a protest earlier this month. Those officers survived. An organizer for Black Love Resists says that they decided to leave the square last week, but others remained. Demonstrators have been seen bathing in McKinley Monument, and police say some of them became unruly. Nearly on a daily basis, we had uh, the chief of the B district go into the square, speak with some of the people that were there. Uh, some of them were receptive. Uh, others were hostile towards her and towards officers that were in the square. But again, you know, based on complaints and uh, other actions that some of the protesters were taking, a decision was made by the commissioner of police that it was time to clear that area out. Now, the 13 people arrested were charged with obstruction of governmental administration and for being in a park after 10 p.m. They were all issued appearance tickets. Police say a sword was confiscated. Now, Diana Davis, she had a court appearance today and she remains behind bars and her case has been sent to a grand jury. Meantime, there are concerns on how the removal of the protesters overnight, how that all went down. Coming up at 5, you'll hear from one of the protest organizers. I'm Jeff Perval, Channel 2 News.